I thought I'd get a more <clears throat> appealing background image. So I thought I'd pull up our website. Uh, what I want to talk about now is Case IH or CNH Pro 700 display data. Now, Pro 700 data, um, the jump drives can be a little bit more tricky to deal with. Um, I'm going to put a jump drive in my computer and hopefully it will show up. Um, it's removable disk J again. So I open it up. Now, Pro 6 and Pro 700 need a .cn1 this folder on it. Now, this stuff in front, that can be edited, changed. It's just random numbers that are created. Now, what happens with Pro 6 and Pro 700s, um, and we're going to talk about Pro 700 specifically with a jump drive. If you take a jump drive that has a clean prescription folder for your Pro 700, such as this folder, and you put it in the display and turn the power on, it will take all the information that's on the display, all the growers, all the products, all the farm fields, and it will put it in this folder. It might change the name of it, but it'll put it in that folder. And when that happens, if you have duplicate names, so you have duplicate grower names or duplicate farm names and multiple fields with the same name, it becomes a problem to find your prescriptions because they are tied specifically to a single grower, a single farm, and a single field. And if you have duplicates, then you have to search them. So if that has happened to you, what I would recommend is you take the jump drive that I sent, put it in your computer, you right click here, and you delete it. And you just get rid of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to load the .cn1 folder in your Dropbox to the jump drive. So you go, I'm going to go to Miller Farms because I know they have a Pro 700 prescriptions. Go into Planner, and there is the .cn1. Now while I'm here, I'm going to show you how to find whether there are prescriptions on it or not. So if I open this up, go into the Shared. Now, here's all the farm names, FMDs. So if I open one up, now here's the field names, FLDs. Folders empty, no prescription. Folders empty, no prescription. Folders empty, no prescription. So, in this farm, there are no prescriptions. So, this is kind of a crapshoot. So, I picked a different farm. And... They don't come in like this. They come in according to what we designate them as. And I'm not having much luck here either. Ah, there it is. See that dot .prp and dot .prs? That tells me that there is a prescription for that field and in that farm. So that's how you do it. So go back to Planner. Now, this is the only folder you want on the jump drive. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to Send To, Removable Disk J, and it's going to ask me if I want to send it without its properties. So I say yes. Then it says, do you want to do this? So I want to do this for all current items. And I keep checking this box and selecting yes until it quits, giving me that warning. So, now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to try to find my jump drive. Um, I'm going to go here. So that's the folder I just copied over. 
Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have two folders that have this .cn1 extension, that display will never see that jump drive. Never. It will never load the information from the jump drive to your display. So if you have two .cn1s, you've got to figure out which one is correct. And if neither one is correct, you've got to get rid of it. Or you go to a jump drive that does not have a .cn1 folder and copy or send to the jump drive the one out of Dropbox. That's what I wanted to talk about. Thanks for listening. I'll see if I can shut this down. I have to go here, I think. Oh, there it is.